I picked up a Z28 yesterday. Shout out to the dude that sold it to us for giving us a sweet deal and for watching the channel. About to uh, satin black the whole thing, make it beast. It's got the LS1 with the automatic. It's pretty fucking fast. And then on the way there, some asshole dumped his tent out in the highway and a piece of it flew up and punched a massive hole into my radiator. So literally as we were pulling up to the guy's house with the Camaro, my car started overheating really, really bad. I had to limp it to the guy's house and completely out of radiator fluid, overheating to the point where the check engine light was coming on. Totally thought for sure I blew my motor up or at least blew the head gasket, but went and got some of this 9,750 PSI kind of epoxy steel putty, packed it in real deep, pushed it in until I couldn't push it in anymore into the hole, made it probably about four times the size of the initial hole itself. Then we went and got some lunch, let it cure for an hour, filled the thing up and drove it the hour and a half all the way back from Denver. So that stuff actually works, which is good to know because uh, I got a bunch of it left in the trunk. So if I don't need it, but now I get to swap a radiator, which luckily I have a spare from one of the other cars I've worked on. Brand new radiator, brand new fans. So I'm gonna swap it out and uh, yay. Sunday. All right, got the car in the air high enough to support some jack stands and then get this massive bucket under here because the radiator fluid is brand new and I definitely don't want to waste it. So I got a clean bucket. I'm gonna pull the drain plug, drain it all down into here. And then I'm gonna put the new fan radiator assembly into the car. Take the cap off obviously to get a proper release of all the fluid. Then we can start by taking this bolt here that holds this radiator support rail. Just trust me taking these off at the end and then trying to finagle it out without taking these off is a pain in the ass. So just go ahead and disconnect the actual frame rail from the front core support. Pull it all out as one. Then you can pull these off of the radiator and transfer them to the new radiator. Same thing over here, there's a bolt holding in here. I have both of them wired into the same wiring harness, so I need to disconnect the zip tie here. Hose top, hose bottom. Go ahead and take the intake shroud off. So I'm gonna get to that. Looks like a 12 millimeter on the end bolts here. a good time also if you're any of your hoses are showing any type of dry rod or anything go ahead and replace those you definitely don't want to have to do this again on the side of the highway it's a pain in the ass trust me now i gotta get the hose off the bottom and then the other two 12 millimeters should drop right out So it's just some, I don't know if you can see that, it's just like some hooks with a rubber grommet and you slide it up and off of these hooks so it kind of sits down on it. Alright, same thing on the other end, and then it should just rock right on out.
radiator and our old radiator. We need to get these end rails off so we can transfer them to the new one. Looks like a 10, but it may be a 12. And it's a 10. <laughs> alignment pins on this one maybe because this is aftermarket I don't know but um, it's definitely I want to say thinner but who knows so I'm gonna have to chop these little alignment pins off because there's no holes in the end rails so I'm gonna do that end of their holders and we can put the 12s back into the tops here Alright, so I got everything mounted, got the fans connected, now I just need to top off the radiator, make sure there's no leaks, and we're good to go. I'm also going to keep the old radiator because even though it has a patch, it still didn't leak. So if anything ever happens to this one, obviously I have another radiator to replace if I need it. I'm also going to put some mesh down in the grill to keep this from happening again. Should be fine. Let's fill it up. Oh yeah. Alright, so that's how you swap a radiator on a Miata. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. As always, like if you liked, subscribe if you want, and keep modding.